Hello everyone, my name is Pius and I shall be your host for the introduction to today's video. This video will be made by not just me, but also by other students from Beechill College. This video will talk about the impact that social media has on young people's lives. Social media can be a great thing, enabling people to speak to their relatives and friends on the complete other side of the globe, via messages or calls or even video calls. This project was even organized using social media. But social media is not all good. It can impact people's lives in an unpleasant way, in rare cases causing people's mental health to dwindle. This is just a short introduction to the world of social media and its impact on young people. I shall give someone else a chance to speak now. Social media. What started off as simple bulletin boards, places where people could chat, upload and download files or other things like reading the news or playing some simple games are now multi-billion dollar corporations with millions of people using them every day. Now while social media definitely has disadvantages, I will focus on some of the advantages today. The first and main advantage of social media is connectivity. People from anywhere can connect with anyone regardless of location. The beauty of social media is that you can connect with anyone and share your thoughts or learn new skills. Social media has a lot of benefits for students and teachers. It is very easy to learn from those who are experts and professionals via social media. You can follow anyone to learn from him or her and enhance your knowledge about any field. You can share your issues with the community to get help. Whether it is help in terms of money or in terms of advice, you can get it from the community you are connected with. Dopamine. The feel-good chemical. This chemical is made in the reward center of our brains and is released when we exercise, meditate, listen to music, sleep and eat. But in the last 10 years there has been a discovery of one other huge way of releasing dopamine and that is social media, particularly when we get likes and follows. When we get these likes and follows we become instantly happier. It has also been shown that this way of producing dopamine is more seen in teens. Dopamine controls mainly your behavior and your emotions. So a single comment or like or follow or even unfollow can really change someone's entire mood for the day. So we should always think about the person behind the screen and not the screen itself. What we see and do on social media platforms is a lot like the butterfly effect. The butterfly effect is an idea that a small change can make much bigger changes happen. Your words and actions affect other people. You trash talking someone on an online game can really affect their mental health. How would you feel if a stranger started calling you names for no reason? That's why we have to try and be kind to each other, because if we keep going at the rate we are, according to the World Health Organization, approximately 1.54 million people will die from suicide in the year 2020. There are so many things you could do besides going on social media during quarantine. You could take up a new instrument, like playing the guitar, or you could choose a new hobby, like painting. You could work out, or you could read. Yeah, social media is great, but have you ever tried putting down your phone and exploring the nature? It's pretty cool. Social media it is something that we've used and will continue to use for a long time to come. We hope after seeing all the points that we have made about the impacts, positive and negatives and alternatives to social media, you will understand social media a bit more and be more careful while on social media because you never know who's on the other end of the screen. Thank you for watching.